Hi, this is Carter, also known as Extreme Apex, and I'm going to show you how to make a siege weapon in Little Big Planet. Uh, this is the weapon used in my level Castle Siege. So, the weapon, as you can see here, looks a bit like a dragon, and uh, there's several components. It's two planes wide in the back, but it also has this metal path jutting out on the front plane. This is so that you can uh, scale up the, uh, or you can climb up and then once you climb up you can jump into the back plane. So there are a few components. Here you can see two wheels, two motor bolts, and these are this metal thing, these uh, wheels are, this metal thing keeps the motors attached. Uh, it's a thin piece. And these motors are controlled by this three-way switch. So, as you can see, this switch um, when it's not being touched, it doesn't do anything. When you push it, it pushes it in the direction of pieces. And uh, you can see the switch is just a directional switch, uh, pretty simple. Now the other component is in the middle, you have this sort of flaming thing. This is just for looks, pretty much. And uh, what it does is there's a switch here. And this switch is tied to an emitter. And what the emitter does is drops a piece of ammunition. And so the switch is, and the emitter only lets one piece of ammo spawn at a time. I think it uh, lets it spawn for 10 seconds. So if you pull the switch, or if you activate the catapult, which you'll see in a second, in 10 seconds, it'll fire, uh, and the piece will disappear before you run into it again. It's an on-off switch. So basically what happens is if I stand on it, it's going to drop a piece of ammo. Now the final part of the puzzle is the catapult. It's important that this be... Originally I put the catapult on the back of the machine, but when the catapult flipped, the momentum caused the entire machine to flip over and break apart. It wasn't good. So, I have these sorts of bottoms of the siege weapon. This is just a boom box. It makes the music what I want it to when I get on the catapult. Um, so I have these sort of points right here, so when the catapult uh, activates, they'll get caught on the ground, it won't flip the entire, the catapult won't flip the entire machine. So this is a wobble bolt. And basically it's set to go pretty fast, uh, four tenths of a second. And as you can see by the um, range, it's between these two, uh, it's between those two in increments and that angle. So basically what happens is by setting a wobble bolt there, this is bolted onto the thing in the back, um, and here's the catapult loader. This switch is a directional switch. So basically what happened, and this is also a, oh, this is a three-way switch, yeah. Um, they're both three-way switches. So what happens is if I push the switch this way, the catapult will go to its firing position. If I pull it back, it'll go to loading position. So, the next th component is these walls. Now, I've got decorations on them. I've got these sort of stone tiles stickered onto them, so you can't see it, but this is a magnetic key switch, and it's invisible in the actual level. Um, and it's an on-off switch, and these walls are actually made of cardboard, and they're just packed with explosives. So whenever a magnetic key gets within range of this, um, We get some rage of the trigger radius, this wall is going to blow up. I wanted to make the wall stone originally, but stone apparently doesn't blow up uh, when explosives are detonated next to it. But the cardboard will just cause everything to blow up. And the key is actually on the ammo. I made a just a flaming circular object with a magnetic key onto it. So if we go to the first wall, what's going to happen is you're going to activate the ammo dump. The things there, the firing stuff there, just to make it look like it's coming out of a big flaming thing of ashes. And that causes the wall to destroy it, be destroyed. So, and you've noticed probably this magnetic key in the front. This is just some flaming stuff, just for intimidation. I made most of this using the corner editing tool. Um, so if we take this siege weapon, we'll move it past the other stuff for time's sake. Here you can see a bit of the cardboard. Um, that'll blow up pretty easily. 
in front of the switch you'll see a magnetic key, or in front of the siege weapon you'll see a magnetic key. Now the switch is right over here. And what this switch is uh, triggered to do is detonate or is destroy that dissolved material at the bottom right when you uh, get within range. So what's going to look like is when you uh, ram that wall with the front of the siege weapon, that uh, dissolved material is going to disappear. Um, and that's going to fall down. This guy's saying something. Just saying to ram the thing, basically. Um, so if you ram this, that dissolved material will collapse. And you will have a bridge. And you could also, theoretically, just make the whole thing out of dissolved material smash through some stuff. Yeah, and that's basically how I made a siege weapon in the little big planet.